So there I was. Yeah. You know, the Saturday morning. Just waking up. And I'm going through my phone. And I, I get this text from a fan. And they're like, hey, you know, you, you should make a tier list for Valorant. Genius idea, you know. I don't know why. I have never thought about it. It's not like, you know, just silver player. Now gold, actually. Gold too, if, if you want know, to be specific. Um, whose opinion nobody cares about. As, you know, as the content creator that I am, of course, when a fan tells me they would like to see something from me, of course I'm going to do it, you know? Here's the tier list maker, and I'm going to meme with this tier list, alright? There's a bunch of tier lists of people out there. You know, there's a bunch of videos of people doing tier lists of Valorant games out there, so I'm not actually going to take this seriously. This is for, you know, fun. Whatever that is. So we're going to start from the left to the right. This will be a quick little five minute bang. Get it out Saturday. You already know. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know the typical YouTuber thing. Breach. Everybody hates Breach mains. Nobody likes a Breach main. If you play Breach, you're probably messing around. Because that's when I play him. You do not care about the game. You're a Breach main. Brims of B. Alright, a staple in the Valorant community, alright? You play Brim, or if you're a Brim main, you're a good person. Honestly, I think you are. I've never come across a toxic Brim. Cypher, we'll throw you in with Brim. Alright, look, Cypher as an agent, great agent overall. Never, oh, I mean, I have met a couple toxic Cyphers, but overall, Cypher, a, a middle of the pack agent. Jet, you already know. Oh. As a jet main, we're toxic all the time. Some of us are trash. Some of us are great. Some of us are crack. Shout out Korean Jet. Everybody memes, but Omen's up here. You already know. I won't give him an S rank. Personally, I don't really play Omen that much these days, but he's pretty good. I mean, you know, I would put him over Brim in a lot of maps, but Brim is like a staple, like I mentioned. And, you know, you have to unlock Omen, you don't have to unlock Brim. A staple. Phoenix is like the ent the beginner duelist that every beginner will eventually play. And honestly, he's good for that reason. He's an overall good agent. I think, you know, if you actually do take the time to dedicate yourself to Phoenix, you can get pretty good. Those first five characters that you have unlocked are all pretty good at getting good at the game. So if you're a beginner, you know, stick to that. But even so, I've seen people that have been playing this game since, you know, beta. That like play Phoenix and they're cracked. So he has a lot of potential, and I think overall just an overall good agent. Raze is another duelist that I have made, and Raze mates are beyond cracked. All right, there's nothing more entertaining to me than watching a satchel play. So I'm putting Raze at an A. That's rank. We got Sage. Uh, you know, I think her nerf of not healing as much. Well, at first was a pretty big impact. I think since then, you know, Sage is just a staple on every team, you know? And you can never go wrong with having a Sage. More often than not, the Sage is usually somebody that either just started playing, is being carried, or is not trying. Because I have seen some crack Sages. Silva. I main him, and I would have put him in an S tier a couple months ago, but I feel like these days, he's really good at some maps, but I don't play him enough. And I think he the lineup meta is really one of the more, you know, uninteresting metas for me. It's cool seeing a lineup for the first time, but like, once you've seen a lineup multiple times over and over, it does get pretty boring and tedious, but there's still lineups that I'm learning about and seeing for the first time. And if you're an actual silver main that dedicates their time and commits to making as many lineups as possible. Heck, there's a PDF out there with Sova lineups. And I know, because I got one when I was um, maining uh, Sova. Like, it, it can be pretty entertaining and overall, I think you have a big impact on the team. So I would put, definitely put Sova up there. Viper goes A, all right, because there was so much slander on Viper's name when this game initially came out. I remember everybody was saying Viper's the worst agent out there when the game first came out and look at her now 
for a while, people thought she was broken. I think right now she's actually at a perfect spot. Like she, she people have kind of adapted to her util. Reyna, I'll, um, I mean, I do play her, and personally, I really enjoy playing Reyna. But more on the, often than not, I feel like these days you come across an insta lock Reyna more often than a jet uh, insta lock. Uh, between Jet and Reyna, they're both pretty toxic pe types of people, but I would argue that Reyna tends to be more toxic. Killjoy, I play Killjoy a lot. I think she's great, but um, she's definitely not as valuable in certain maps, but like in Fracture, which I hate, despise, absolutely do not like it whatsoever right now, but I'll like it later. She's really good, so, you know. Killjoy, well, middle of the pack. Sky. We'll put Sky at C. My reasoning for that is she's okay. I mean, she's good. You know, if, if you're if you're cracked with Sky, it's pretty noticeable. Um, but I don't know. I think she's underutilized. I would argue at least for in a certain sense. But I think she is like uh, certain people were giving her a bad rep. Hence why she got her nerf in the most recent patch. Like the ability to throw your bird out and walk alongside it so that when people turn around to dodge the the flash. Um, you can get this kills. I think that's pretty cool, but I don't know. Yoru, Yoru's an S rank. Come at me. I don't care. Yoru main here. Yoru has so much potential in this game, and hopefully the devs, I mean, I know the devs have realized it, but hopefully the devs do something about it. Yoru could be cracked. And any Yoru main who actually takes it seriously is beyond cracked. And I don't care what people say. Astra, look. Astra's an A rank. Let me tell you why. Astra by far is the hardest agent in Valorant to get down. Don't care if you've been playing this game for the year that it's been out. Don't care if you just started playing. Astra compared to any other agent. All right, sure, you can argue lineups can be complicated, etc. So like with Viper, Killjoy, Sova, etc. But with Astra, you actively have to be thinking about her util as you're playing this game. And thinking and playing is much harder to do when you're like consistently being pressured by your teammates. Hey, we need to smoke here. Hey, you know, should I suck here? Should I come plus here? Etc. There's, it's, it's also because every star has three options for you. So you always have to keep that in mind. And overall, I think Astra has the greatest skill cap in Valorant. You're either a really bad Astra or you're a really good Astra. And honestly, I have yet to see a really good Astra. I've seen them maybe like once or twice. And that's exciting. That I think personally, having that much of a skill gap between players when it comes to playing one agent, I think is super important. And overall, I would say Astra is going to be pretty interesting to see going down the line. And then Kale. Kale's good. And all the pack. He's good because Util's like average. I think he's... I think he'll be pretty much like a phoenix, but I don't think he's there yet. I think people just, I don't know if they're staying away from him or if they don't just play him right. But I actually haven't seen a lot of Kale recently, and I think that should change. I think Kale's not bad at all. If anything, I think, you know, people are underutilizing him. But, you know, they'll come to realize that as he continues to get played more and more. There's my tier list. There you go. That's what I think of the Valorant Agents. This is my personal opinion, obviously. You can go ahead and make your own tier list over at Tier Maker if you want that link. I'll make sure to put it down in the description. Let me know in the comments if you like this tier list. Khalid, if you're watching this video, comment. I need to comment for engagements. Don't be like that. Thank you for watching, and this is an exciting stuff. <laughs>